All right, chapter two, operating instructions. All right, description of the U for the operator for the control indicated with the general. Before the D7F, D7F tractor of the Reeve has become familiar with the location function, all of the operators um, control the indicators described in the work pack. Controls and indicators one and two. The transmission safety lock lever prevents accidental engage, engagement. Um, transmission lock with the transmission neutral when in on forward position. When the off or reward position, transmission selector mo can be moved out of the neutral. Two, the select transmission selector level the selects the neutral for three forward, one, two, and three, three forward, one, two, and three reverse. Transmission gear ranges backup alarm located behind the fuel tank. Sounds the transmission in place in reverse. All right, um, back out of this. One is the manual, oh, one is the, uh, one, where's, sorry, three is your manual override switch. Four is either, either starting eight switch, five is the left steering clutch, six is the right steering clutch. Automatic um, manual override switch. Automatic disconnect the system when the cut off the current with the start of the prevent the inverting re-engagement of the starting after the engine is started. Oil pressure is building up. Press the switch bypass the automatic disconnecting system during engine cranking and the temperature below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. Four, the either starting aid switch. Push down the switch and hold down the um, two to three seconds with the switch with relief that either the intake with the intake man injection and the intake manifold. The engine does not start with a tape of three seconds away before pressing switch again. Five, the left steering clutch lever. Pull the lever back and disengage the left steering clutch. Turn left. Release the lever to engage the left um, steering clutch. Take Make a sharp turn with the turn to the left. Hold the every blaker. Oh, lever back with implying left the brake pedal. Six right steering clutch lever. Pull the lever back and disengage the right steering clutch. Turn right. Release the lever to engage the right steering clutch to make a sharp return to the right. Pull the lever back while applying right brake pedal. All right, seven was your um, governor control lever. The lever containing the engine RPM with the pull of the lever to for the increase the RPM. Push the away from decrease the RPMs. When starting the engine, pull the lever all the way back and push forward um, the one third of the throttle position. Stop the engine, push the lever then forward past the detent. Eight, decelerator pedals. Depress the pedal to reduce the engine speed with the change of the of the controlling lever setting. Push the release the pedal to allow the engine speed to return to the governor control level of setting. The brake pedal to depress both pedals to apply the brakes. Both releasing both pedals of the release of the brakes when you the conjunction with left of the right steering clutch and lever and pressing left and right brake the pedal turns machine the sharp left and right. Natal slave receptacle provides connection with the natal slave cable to sl um, slave start the tractor. Figure 11 is the brake lever lock. Um, serve the parking brake to engage to press the both brake pedals, push down and lever to hold them and to release both brake pedals if it disengage um, both brake both brake pedals. Are right, your controls and indicators continued? Um, third 12 is your 12 is the um, heat start switch. Um, 13 is front front flood light switch. 14 rear flood light switch. 15 engine coolant warning light. 16 circuit breaker sw um, reset switch. 17 air cleaner service indicator. 18 de dash light switch. 19 center flood light switch. All right, your head um, head start and 12 the. Uh, the heat starts with the three position spring load of the switch with the U with the starting with the engine and either energizing the starting aid system or glow pubs with the quit position start heat start with the data play off and uh, off and heat. A to start the engine to press and turn the switch or start with the release of the switch when the engine starts in temperature below thirty two degrees Fahrenheit. Um to press and turn the switch start while at the same time depressing either start aid switch two to three seconds when we'll release the switch when engine starts if the temperature is above are below sixty degrees Fahrenheit, the older engines glow plugs to press and turn the switch to after the appropriate time interval start the engine turning the start to the engine but release the switch in the engine operation turn the front flood lights with shut and toggle switch control for the flood and flood the light lights and flip the switch on or all let uh, on right on left off right for the rear flood lights with toggle switch rear and control the rear flood light switch turn the right uh, right on left off Engine cooling temperature warning light. Um, alerts the and warner up and will warn to the operator that the cooling temperature in the engine is too high. Circuit breaker reset switch, switch to the reset of the circuit breaker that protects the dash panel circuits. Air cleaner surface indicator indicates the air cleaner airflow has adequate yellow band and screen and zone on the gauge. If the, if the restricted yellow band is will rise and red end to the red air. Red area on the gauge. After the air clearing, serve the press the reset button on the bo bottom of the gauge before reset, assuming the operation. 18 dash light switch. Turn the switch control with both dash light panels and on one light on each side of the steering clutch control add lever and console flip the switch right on left off. Center flood switch light. Center flood light switch. Toggle the switch control with center flood light switch with right on left off. 
Controls indicators. All right, 20 is the engine oil pressure light. 21 is the engine water temperature gauge. 23 is your torque converter temperature gauge. 24, 23 is an ammeter, and 24 is a transmission oil oil pressure gauge. All right, your engine oil pressure gauge indicate for the pressure of the engine oil lubricating system of the engine is running the normal range of low, low idle 35 to 85, 35, 38 to 50 APSI minimal allowance pressure for 20 PSI. Engine water temperature gauge indicates temperature engine coolant normal operating range of the green zone over the gauge, the gauge is indicated with the red zone stop the engine troubleshooting. Or your torque converter temperature gauge indicated with the temperature of the torque converter um, oil never, n normal range is indicated with the green zone on the page 150 250 degrees Fahrenheit if the temperature can see the normal range for juice load over the, um, on the machine if it needs to stay in the elevated rate red zone on the gauge stop the engine and notify the unit maintenance and meter indicate with the rate, rate of the battery charge of the discharge in, in the volts but pointing to the green zone on the gauge of the normal battery condition it's points in the upper red zone indicate overcharging condition point in the lower red zone indicates undercharging condition when the ammeter meter shows Either uncharged or overcharged condition extend beer um you know the unit maintenance. Twenty four transmission oil level pressure gauge. Normal range indicate the green zone on the gauge if the needle goes in the red on the gauge shut down the engine notify the unit maintenance. All right, 25, the display control um, lever. A lever, a lever control the bulldozer, raising and lowering, lifting, raising and lowering, lifting fa and functions. Pull the lever way back to raise the blade, center of the hold position, hold the blade in position, remove, push the lever all the way forward to lower to allow the blade in the float, low, to follow the trip of the contour without under pressure, using pressure, pressure level with the forward position, lower position, dent with the low, flow position. Tilting functions. Um, move the lever all the way left of the lower left of the, uh, over the blade. Lower um, the uh, move the lever the way of the right. Lower the right side of the blade. Move the lever in the middle position. Hold the tilt position. You and the hydraulic lift and tilt centers have reached the limit of their stroke. Return the blade control to hold. All right, 26 is your ripper control level. The reposition lever to consider the ripper mount of the position. Pull the lever in a way that toward the operator to the left. To the left and the raised center. Hold the position. Hold the ripper in position. Pull the lever all the way to the front of the operator. Away from the operator to the right to lower. Control indicator 27. Um, battery disconnect switch. Cut off the battery for the machine electrical switch from the operator's seat. Switch off at the switch point over the 12 o'clock. Turn off the pointer toward the rear of the machine. 2 o'clock to turn the switch on. All right, 28 and 29, winch selector um, lever if equipped, 29, winch brake lever if equipped, 30, safety lever equipped. Um, free spool, reel out, neutral, reel in uh, for your 28, and uh, 29 is release and, um, release and applied. So your winch... Um, your wind selector is uh, four position with a three de three t three detents control with a pull lever to over the operator to hold the reel in and cable to automatically apply the brake. Push the lever all the way operator into the first dent neutral position fully vertical within a neutral position when the slinch uh, when the winch selector lever is going to be locked in safety lever thirty. Push the lever away from the operator to the third dent free with a spool within the release of the cable is required. Verify vary the cable speed with the throttle engine. 29 winch brake level to equip the operator level the winch low with the pull the lever toward the operator apply position push the lever the wave on the operator release position safety lever to equip locks the winch selector level the wind the selector level is neutral push the lever back and unlock the winch select level push the level forward to lock the winch winch selector lever all right, 31, 32, and 33. 31 is the fuel priming plunger located on the right side of the engine, always from the uh, fuel system priming with the end the engine fails to start. Rotate the left and open um, open the pump, off, operate the plunger with a strong pressure to this felt, um, felt tighten securely all the way to the right use. 32 is the fuel pressure gauge, the normal um, range of the green zone on the gauge. When the gauge is needle is red zone, fuel filter service is required. Hour meter, use the maintenance personnel to schedule maintenance services based on the hours of operation. All right, 30 fuel is, 34 is your fuel level. The dipstick indicates the level in fuel tank marking. The dipstick fuel one quarter, one half, and three quarters. 30, 35 and 36 fuel tank draining valve hose. The U of the valve of the drain water sediment in the fuel tank located with the left side of the fuel tank. Turn the valve on the left to open the right side to close. Fuel shut off valve 36. Turn the valve on the right to off position to shut off the fuel supply from the fuel tank to the rest of the fuel system. Valve is normally turned on. 
37 and 38, engine oil sampling valve, the unit maintenance engine oil sample, engine oil level of dipstick, 38, when indicates the level of the oil of the crankcase, when the engine shut down, cold, cold check level should be cross hatch on the area side of the dipstick, lab labeled safe starting range where the engine stopped and oil cooled, when the engine in low idle, hot check with the level that should be in the full marked dot, on side dipstick, low, labeled engine running low idle with oil alarm. All right, 39 is your transmission oil level. The dipstick accessible under seat, uh, under seat indicates the level of the oil transmission. When the engine idle, the transmission is neutral or warm level. should be in the full mark dipstick. And the cold check level should be um, above the add mark on the dipstick. 40, your hydraulic tank oil level. The dipstick indicates the level of the oil on the hydraulic tank. When the machine implements the fully lo lowered level of the oil, should be the full mark on the dipstick. Add oil level is uh, falls below the add of the mark dip on the dipstick. 41, 42, and 43. 41 is your seat belt adjuster level, the two position level, the heating with the seat back, the rave of the seat back, the plate height, place the level of the downward horizontal position, lower the seat back height, pull the lever in the vertical position, seat release lever, pull out the lever, tip on the seat forward, access the transmission, other transmission component for the under the seat. Seat adjusting the lever to the two position level, the two adjust the seat, pull on the lever to move the seat forward, upper rearward, downward, push down on the lever to lock the seat in the desired position. All right, 44 and 45. 44 is your blade tilt um, brace adjusting bar. You can adjust the length of this, um, to the tilt bar, tilt brace. 45 is the circuit breaker reset um, switch. Place the switch to reset the circuit breaker that protects the starting and charging circuits. All right, warning. General, you know, you, under usual conditions, warning. You, um, hearing can be permanently damaged with exposure with a constant high noise valve with 85 decibels. Greater hearing protection is required with the operating of the machine. When working with the machine, when it is operating, failure to wear protection may result in the hearing loss. Workage back of the instruction and safety operation. D7F of the tractor, unusual condition, unusual condition defined in the work packet 000600. Work packet 0400. Um, forget the extra um, three zeros before that. For location function, all the controls indicate the required machine operation. Initial um, adjustment daily checks before operating. Preventive maintenance check services um, 1200. Um, use the caution. Maintain three point contact all time for the mounting of the machine. Avoid injury to death. Three machine mounting of the grab handles. Maintain three point contact at all times. Occupy seat. Adjust the seat necessary. Using seat belt while operating. Make it machine mandatory. Fasten the seat belt before operating the machine. Try to fasten the seat during the operation for the crave. The hazard condition failure. Follow the warning. May result in injury or death. Fasten seat belt. Adjust the need. So that the bell is slung across all the lap, across the lap of the buckle in center. All right, five under um, under your unusual conditions. Continue warning: Do not start the tractor engine clove with the air areas with the adequate ventilation valve. With the warning, with the may result with a permanent drain band of the death due to the carbon monoxide poisoning. Your hearing permanently damaged. Exposed with a constant high noise level the decibels over the greater 85 or greater. Hearing protection required with the operating of the machine when working with the machine. The operating failure to work with the hearing protection may result in hearing loss. Follow the procedure with the start of the engine temperature tractor over the other starting aid system. That you've either the starting aid the temperature is below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. If the tractor with the glow plugs, you have the glow plugs to preheat combustion at, at the temperature the 60, from 60 degrees Fahrenheit to 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Before attempting to start the engine extreme cold, refer to the work package 600 to prepare the tractor for effort operating the extreme cold. Ensure the brake lever that was engaged and drink it. And ensure the transmission neutral safety lock lever in the on position. Ensure all, all implements are lower and control levers are, levers are in hold. Ensure all accessories are on off. Turn battery switch, connect connection switch on. Pull the governor and lever the way, all the way back in the um, detent position. Push the forward throttle one third of the position. No, pre pre before stepping seven and eight, the um, machine is equipped with a D33 earlier 30306 engine. The glow bugs temperature below 60 degrees Fahrenheit. It pushes in the turn on the switch heat with if the time is specified below 32 degrees to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the heat heart, heat start switch and heat for one minute. Zero to 32 degrees. Um, play for the heat start switch in two minutes. You're below zero degrees Fahrenheit. Place the heat start in for three minutes. At least the heat start switch when preheated at the time of the lapse. Note they were performed step nine. Machine if equipped with lay no later than model 3306, which either the starting aid system and temperature of 32 degrees Fahrenheit or below, push in and oh, turn the heating start switch um, and hold the starting position while at the same time injecting the, either the um, starting aid switch, place either the starting switch two to three seconds, then release and proceed to step 10. Do not cause you to operate the starter motor than motor more than 30 seconds at a time. After 30 seconds, allow the starter motor to um, cool at least two minutes before attempting to start the engine again. Excessive heating is, um, of the starter motor makes a result in the damage of the early start failure. The engine must be adequate to oil pressure 15 seconds after starting. Do not leave the engine oil pressure indicated with a gauge. 15 seconds of damage to the engine will res um, result. 
10, connect the engine, engine, engine as well. Switch in and turn the heat. Switch on the starting the engine. Pre press the manual override switch and press the, uh, um, by bypassing automatical disconnect switch if the temperature is below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Know if the temperature below the degrees 60 degrees Fahrenheit, your engine equipped with the glow plus. Return the heat switch for the heat with the engine through unstart. Uh, assume with the engine running smoothly. Release the heart, um, heat, um, heat start switch. Release the heat start switch manual override switch soon. As the engine starts running, the engine low, low idle after the initial start as the loud lubrication will reach the turbocharger. If the engine fails to start, perform the following engines equipped with the glow plugs. Does not restart with the return the heat start with the switch for the heat for 30 seconds, then attempt to the start again. If the engine is equipped with the starting aid system, does not start, push the aid, either starting aid within 2 3 seconds, post them, release 2 3 seconds, same time engine is cranked. Continue the 2 3 second intervals during the cranking while engine starting running smoothly. All right, do not, uh, caution, do not operate the starter's uh, motor for more than 30 seconds at a time. After 30 seconds, allow the starter motor to co uh, cool for at least two minutes before attempting to start the engine, except for the heating or starting may result of the damage in earlier start failure. R12, right, well, the engine will, uh, does not start continuing to crank the engine following intervals. Wait for two minutes, repeat 30 seconds, cycle two minutes, wait until between the cycle then for a total of six minutes, six more times. If the engine still fails to start, wait 30 minutes, repeat 30 seconds, um, start, start on with a two minute uh, wait, so in four more times. If needed, 30 minutes for repeat 40, four additional 30 um, second starting cycles. Caution, limiting the idle time, the excessive idling can cause the carbon buildup and damage to the engine before implying load, um, warm up the engine at least five minutes with the governor control level of a quarter to one and a half speed position, check the gauge and instrument to ensure the register and normal operation. Caution, be alert of personal air over the operating machine, always check with the ensure the air is clear of the personnel of the trucks and before moving the filing warning may be result in injury or death, do not allow riders of the machine to fail with the filing warning may, may result in injury or death. Caution, if any time the abnormal ra um, gauge reading with the knee and noted with the engine cooling temperature and warning light comes on and check the load with the Machine reading um, on the gauge with the return with the safe operation range. If the gauge is not returned with the safe operation range, shut down and investigate the cause. One, move the governor control level to the position well provided with the desired engine speed to disengage the brake lock lever position, depressing both pa um, pedals. Using operator control to raise the implement over the ground, move the transmission lever off warning. Tra keep the tractor under control at all times. Do not put the, put in, do not put the transmission selector valve with the neutral. Allow the tractor coast downhill. Select the gear range before. Um, Necessary before starting down um, grade. Do not change the gears and well and going downhill. Failure following these warnings may result in the machine control resulting in the injury or death. Move transmission selector valve to the desired direction speed. Do not use the brake pedals to foot rest. Slowly, um, slowly release the on um, both brakes and move the tractor. Note, uh, starting, um, steering the operating depends on when the, whether the tractor is pushing or the loading and loading, pushing the tractor. Perform step seven, the steering level the ground and downhill or where the tractor is push load. Perform step eight, then steering the moderate downgrade with load push, um, pushing tractor. Step seven: Steering with the tractor and push load. Gradually, left turn pull. Um, left turn pull the left um, steering cl um, clutch lever back and disengage the left thing steering clutch sharply. Um, left turn pushing the left steering clutch lever all the way back and disengage the level steering clutch. Dis depress the brake pedal. Gradually, right gradually, gradually right turn pull the right um, cl um, steering clutch lever to the back and disengage the right left steering clutch. Sharp the right turn. Um, pull the right um, steering clutch lever all the way back and disengage the right steering clutch. Depress the brake brake pedal. Operator continued. Warning, do not um, turn on steep grade meshing could roll over to cause an injury or death. Just steep grade um, moderate downgrade with load is um, pushing tractor courageously. Left turn, pulling the right steering clutch um, back to disengage the right steering clutch. Sh sharp left turn, pull the left steering clutch level all the way back while simultaneously pressing left brake pedal. Gradual white turn, pull the left steering clutch lever back to disengage the left steering clutch. Sharp right turn, pull the right steering clutch lever all the way back simultaneously depressing right brake. If the engine starts to overspeed when the when going downhill, depress both about brake pedals. To slow down the accelerator pedal to reduce engine speed without disturbing governor control lever setting, ten stop the tractor, decelerate, depress both type brake pedals to make the gear and directional shift. Caution, gear and directional shift at the fuel engine speed with the permissible high with the maximum shift of the life of the powertrain is a component of the deceleration and the braking recommended. A, the to decrease the engine speed, the decreasing the accelerator pedal pushing with the governor control level. B, the depress the both back pedals. C, make the direction gear selection with the transmission selector level. D, um, relief the brakes pedals. E, increase the engine speed, re re release the decelerator pull and pulling on all the governor control lever. 12, when the tractor stop the engine running, move the transmission lever to the neutral and the transmission safety lock and lever on the on position. This will prevent accidental engagement of the transmission. 
All right, operator bulldozer. General information: Ensure the machine is fully warmed up before the operating of the bulldozer blade. And raise the lower of the bulldozer blade. Operate the blade lever. Just follow. Pull the lever all the way back to the raise the blade and pull the lever all the way forward. To lower the blade, center hold position plate in position to allow the blade and arms to float. Flow on um, follow strip the on the contour with all the pressure. Pull the lever all the way forward past the lower DB descent of the float 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 position. Caution with the control levers. Return to the hold position. Oil stops bypassing the valve, thereby reducing oil heat of the valve wear. Be sure. To you return the valve um, lever to the hold when the lifting cylinder has reached the limit of their stroke to prevent damage for the control of the valve. Five, when lifting um, lift cylinders have reached their limit of their stroke, the raise the raise or lowered, return the hold position until the bulldozer blade operate the blade control level those valves. One, move all, move the lever all the way over the left side of the uh, lower left side of the blade. Move the, um, two, move the lower all the way to the right side of the lower right blade. And three, move the lever to the middle position to hold the position. Caution the control level of return to the hold down posi hold position. Oil stops bypassing the valve, thereby reducing oil heat. The valve wear by returning the lever to hold position will tilt the cylinder and reach for the stroke to prevent damage for the control lever. When the tilt cylinder has reached the limits for the stroke, return the whole lever to the hold position. Additional tilt blade is needed with the, um, for you to perform bulldozer perform blade adjustment described below. Bulldozer blade adjustment. Note, bulldozers should never be operated more than a half inch of the threads until brace screw for the exposed of the unit maintenance assistance required for the adjusting length of the diagonal braces. Digging angle of the bulldozer dozer blade can be a chain for the adjusting length of the tilt and braces and diagonal braces by using the tilt cylinder. To shorten the tilt brace, you unsew the adjusting bar with locking loop and turn the bar to left tilt. Um, see the tighten um, lengthening tilt brace. Unsew the adjusting bar with locking loop and turn the bar to the right. All right, shows uh, locking loop and adjusting bar, shortening and tilt brace to locking loop to the left. Um, after adjusting lock tilt brace, brace by ins ins inserting an engine adjustment back bar into the locking loop. Dozing techniques. Um, general precautions. Warning: Even the constant crossing side hill of the bridge, lo lo logs, ditches, to ensure the safety belt is fastened. Tractors could tip over the roll over the causing injury to death. When running in over an obstruction such as the log or ditch, ditch bank, the steering, the steering clutches may be released slightly until the um, tractor ba um, balances to the top of the obstruction. Once the clutch has been, may be engaged, gradually the truck, my, tractor may be moved forward and at an angle over the down. Tractor is operating with a, without without a load. It may be necessary for the brakes. Caution. Lifting cylinder rod may be damaged if the dirt spills over the top of the blade. Do not allow the load to spill over the blade, straightening the dozing. The blade dozing digging in the rear of the tractor rods the raised blade. I mean, it's continue even cut, moving the heavy load with it will cover the the engine to drop shifting the lower gear with the raise of the blade slowly when doing finishing level the work of the full blade works better than the partial loaded blade operating bulldozer blade continues slotting the blade slot slot dozing involving involves working the tractor with the transform with the successive path made with the same slot for the maximum possible um, load slot dozing is preferred slot dozing used in stockpile and high production bulldozing side by side dozing more and more, more, more move move two or more machines side by side moving the large quantity of the loose material keep the blades close together machine parallel to each other tilt dozer mis ditching tilt blade um ditching um, tilt blade work a low side blade is center of the ditch level of the blade is required with the depth of the slope reach Straight dozer ditching tilt blade um, cut shallow V ditches and large ditches doze the right angle to the center of the line of the ditch when it does over this reef the dozer length ditch is smooth side of the bottom. Straight dozer back filling. Push the material in a 90 degree angle to fill the ditch. Push the loading scraper to pushing the blade cutting edge with slightly above the ground level to use reinforced center blade with a contact or scrap scrapper. Contact scraper. All right, one warning. Make gradual contact with the scraper of the push block with the failure to ensure the contact made with the moving scraper and ensure that the contact is more squarely injured with the scraper. The operator could op occur in contacts to two force full damage to the scraper. The tires could um, occur with the tire if the contact made squarely. Gradually contact the push um, block on the scraper. When the scraper is moving, ensure the contact is made with the squarely with the scraper of the push block. Do not lift the scraper off the ground. When the scraper is complete, upshift, upshift the tractor to help the scraper accelerate out of the cut area. Large tree removal. Warning, remove the trees. Precautions must be taken to avoid injury to damage. Equipment the machine should be never to work together and one push away, um, or push over the tree over the other way. Do not follow any closely of the tree. Start, start through the fall of the root bottom and the cast to the front of the tractor, which will require the assistance back off at the bottom of the tractor may be damaged. Be alert, the dead limbs that could fall from without all the tree being removed. The bulldozer cuts the roots over the tree uh, on, on the side opposite direction of the fall. Cut the root on the side of the direct, direct, direction of the fall. Warning, do not allow the machine to straddle the tree with the tra trunk while the tree is falling back away immediately when the tree starts to fall to avoid injury damage to the tractor ease into the tr tree the replace the direction and fall um fall, fall with the blade high build, um, build the earth ramp even the higher contact is needed 
Large brush and medium sized tree. Remove the make contact with the 12 and 16th inch above the ground. Move it forward um, when the, while lifting the blade. Brush clearing. Low, um, lower the blade a few inches on, on the end of the ground. Move forward. Lift the, uh, lift the blade with the brush out, loosening either the, from the root stump. Remove the bending on the side of the stump. Cut the roots of the large tree. Remove the contact of the stump with the ground with the lifting blade pushing. M side hill cutting. Start with the cut. Downgrade if possible. Slow, if, slope into the side cut. Those, are, those cut wide enough that the dozer will follow. And N, um, rock and boulder, remove the tail of the blade from blade can, um, corner with the blade under the rock, working until, up and down until the pushing of the rock and disengage the steering clutch with the side opposite, opposite point with the blade contact with the rock. Our scare, uh, operating the scare fire. Scare fire mounting. Warning. Scare fire is heavy. The aid for the caution, ca uh, caution assistant with lifting the scare fire to avoid, uh, injury. No, either, each scare fire weighs 84 pounds. Installing the scare fire is balanced, um, prepares the raised blade with support with a suitable crab and cribbing. Move the pin and lock rod with each of the housing with it, um, assistance of, um, support the scare fire. Remove the pin and scare fire with the sewed raised position. Remove the D, re um, reposition the scare fire with a working lowered position to the angle of the tour of the rear of the machine. Reinstall the pin. Secure the lock rod and pin on each side of the housing. Show the scare fire, the lock rod, the lock rod pin, and the housing and the scare fire pins. Operating the scare fire, continue scare fire to operation. Lower the bulldozer to the ground, place the grade blade control lever and float. Caution, do not um, turn the tractor while shank is in the are in the ground. Tra twisting, pulling, strain for the shank to the tips of the maybe the cause of the failure. Inspect with the scare fire tips frequently for damage. Back up the machine, straight line, do not turn the machine. Raise the bull um, bulldozer blade, reposition the machine for another pass. Repeat steps A and B. Scare fire. Um, scare fire is heavy. You for the caution assistance lifting scare fire to avoid. Each of the scare fire weighs 84 pounds. Raise the blade in support with the suitable crib. Remove the pin and locking rod with each for the housing with assistance. Port the scare fire, remove the pin and scare fire with the working lower position. Remove the pin and scare fire um, raised position. Reinstall the pin. Sc um, secure with a lock rod pin on each side of the um, housing. Operating the winch. Um, following the winch operation, because the procedure for, um, carefully follow, um, very follow the safety precaution the procedure that could result in injury or death or damage. Equipment that wearing heavy gowns, um, wear a handle with wire rope to protect fingers and hands of the injury. Do not use the winch to pull that with, um, when there are fewer than three wraps of wire rope on the drum. The bare drums pull, um, pull, pull can cover the wire to break away from the drum and cover the injury or death. Stand clear reel the out wire that is loaded with a stand clear with a distance of one and a half times the length of the reel of the out wire. Introduction engine must must be warning or running when the operating of the winch winch line speed with the control of the engine RPM engine R, I, and when they ensure the engine is idle when the moving the winch selector from the neutral to any other gear use a pair of heavy gloves when handling the wire which winch with wire rope do not use the winch to pull when the fewer than three wraps of the wire rope on the drum keep the personal clear, clear the wire rope when it is loaded all right, F. Ex exercise suspended load with the maintain engine speed with a high RPM. The engine speed is too low. The wave of the, um, the load may be dropped even when the winch selector level is in real in position. Provide the, uh, caution. Damage to the wire rope may result with the load in the winch with the angle greater than 5 degrees to either side of the longitudinal axis of the tractor. Always winch the wire rope with a straight line as possible behind the tractor, but do not winch the load at an angle greater than 5 degrees to either side of the longitudinal axle of the terror and tractor. A system with the need with the wire rope without the load on the drums to ensure the wire rope windings are properly wound. Always lock the wire winch selector level in the new parallel position, so that you lever when the new not operating, operating the winch. Winch operation. Okay, we're going to pause this. i got to go um, do something real quick. All right, winch operation. To lock the wire with a um, rope, this rope that will not move with the move, the winch selector and lever in the neutral position when towing, holding, loading the winch. When winch is not used, select the lever should be in neutral position. Reel out the wire rope to move the tra um, tractor for away from the heavy load, lower the load by its own weight. <laughs> One, move the winch backward to the applied position. Caution, do not leave the winch selector level in free spool position for extended period of the time. When moving the weight from the load, operate with the tractor low gear to prevent overspeeding with the winch components. Move the winch selector level to the free spool position. So the load, slowly loader, lower, lower the load using the brake lever to move the winch selector to the neutral position. Automatically apply the brake. To lower the light load power with the moving the weight from the load. And then the first gear, move the winch selector with the reel out position. Control the speed with the varying engine RPM. Move the winch selector with the neutral position. Automatically apply the brake. Pull the load toward the tractor, move the hold of the wind, select it from the real position, caution to ensure the maximum surface of the life of the wire rope and gave it the lowest practical and gains in speed. And gave the lowest possible speed, how heavy line loads will require a heavy, higher engine RPM with the later loads. Move the selector level to the new position, automatically apply the brake inch to inch out a load for final control operation, move the wind, um, fine control operation, move the wind to the lever back to the apply position, move the wind selector level, lever to free spool or to real out position, move the wind brake, um, brake lever to the control load, move, um, move the wind selector level to the new 
neutral position apply to the automatic brake. Caution, you not turn the back of the on tractor while the shanks are in the ground for twisting and the putting of the shanks in the tip of the cause failure. Inspect the rippers, ripper teeth, um, tips frequently do not, um, for damage. Note, the run, rip downhill whenever possible. General operating transmission one gear um, from uh, most ripping operations better with additional shank with the practical with the rather than increase the speed always use the clear center shank with the ripping limit one shank only if the material break easily with the more shank may be the added it may be dense with the raised lower re um, ripper with the keep of the track with the selling and the properly breaking of the material move the tractor and material the ripper to lower the ripper gradually despite the um, depth of the traction move forward with the ripping and preparation scraping scraping loader with the ripping the same direction the scraper will load the cross rip of the uh, when necessary in most cases the preferably rip of the Deeply as possible, sometimes the better rip of the partial depth and to remove the material in the natural layers. Warning: Shanks are in he shanks are heavy. Addition to the unit maintenance are required to adjust the ripper with shank depth over the penetration. Suitable lifting device must be used to ensure the adjustment is performed with the same manner. The failure to follow this warning may cause injury or death. No, each shank weighs 328 pounds. Depth of the penetration adjusting with the removal of the compound retainer pan with placing each of the shank in one of the two position higher shank moving the mounting position provide preparation 15 inches to keep several inches of the material with the unripped formation for the cushion the machine provides traction when the final material is uh, must be relatively small closing space is passed and recommended all right, ripping hard, ma uh, harder material, solid rock in it. Using one shank with a t um, tough tip of material, a uh, solid rock material tending to break off with a large slab of the piece of the asphalt road trip with the um, off asphalt raise the shank uh, shanks to lift out with the break off out and break material. Concrete road surface on concrete road. A single shank is effective with the surfacing reinforcement rod or mess. Pack soil, hard pan, clay, shale, cemented gravel. Three shanks work well in these materials. Usually, men of the shanks possible to break up the material without stalling or hanging up the tractor. Outripper continued rock with a fractured fall for the planes and weaknesses. Youth two shanks with the rock breaks in, out in, in, out into small pieces. If the tractor begin with a small track, then only use only center um, shank. Shut down the tractor. The, um, position the machine on level surface to decelerate the engine to idle speed. Apply the brakes. Pull the brake lever to the low, lever to the engine brake, brake lock, lock. Move the transmission select with the neutral and move the transmission select over the on. Lower the implementation on the ground. Turn all off all accessories. Um, caution, um, shooting down the engine, uh, immediately after, uh, after operating with under load, um, can result in the overheating accelerated wherever the engine component the damage to the turbo charger. Do not shut down without idling engine for the appropriate time period. With the move of the governor control level to the idle and idle engine for five minutes from the governor control level to the forward and shut down the engine with play for the battery switch in the opposition. Move all the rocks to burn and debris to clear of the track. Move the after, um, operation preventive maintenance check services work package 12 uh, All right, clean and clean. Operator portable fire extinguisher. Warning discharge large quantity of the chemical fire extinguisher enclosed the winter college cap camera as well as the temporary breathing the difficulty during the immediately after discharging the event. The discharge of the fire extinguisher from the outside of the cab ventilate cab through the prior prior re entry. Move the fire extinguisher and mounting bracket inside, hold the fire extinguisher upright, stand back eight feet from the fire and point the nozzle toward the back, back base of the fire break seal pump um, with the safety pin squeeze lever. Discharge um, chemical at the base of the fire, use side to side motion to spread the chemical after using the fire extinguisher. You don't know if the unit main so that that fire extinguisher has to be uh, recharged. All right, General, the working prop package for the day for the instruction of the safety of the operation of the D7F F track for the un under unusual condition. Additional normal that preventing the instruction of special care must be taken with the keep of the tractor operational extension extreme temperature for the other environmental site. Condition slave starter tra tractor to avoid a possible electrical shop on the slave starting tra tractor. Leave the NATO slave cable that does not have any loose or missing insulation. Do not proceed with the starting if the su suitable slave with the caution cable is not available. Caution, do not allow the lively, live or dead that machine to become in contact with either the, during the slave starting failure to follow the caution may cause electrical system damage. You know in, in no circumstance if the tractor be started being towed or pushed. If you to follow this caution, will the damage the transmission? No, if the machine or the, or the other DSF stand is you with the, start, the slave starter tractor, but prefer the operator man with the machine slave, um, special slave start procedures. Ensure the battery disconnect for the out position and the dead and live mech machines. Know the NATO slave receptacle is located inside of the operator station. The NATO slave receptacle will retrieve the dead man machine. Connect the the other NATO slave receptacle receptacle on the live machine. So at the live machine, run it at a high end, idle. Place the dis battery dis disconnect switch on the engine. Switch on the dead machine. Dead machine onto the on position. Live with the machine for the run through three minutes. Charging the batteries on the dead machine. Start the end. Engine on the dead machine. Um, work package five. Disconnect NATO slave ca cable within both machines. 
No, if the tractor becomes inoperative during the work cycle, the following procedure will, will allow the bulldozer to play, um, be a blade allow, uh, raised to be allowed with allow, allow the tractor ex, 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 execution and recover the raise the bulldozer blade with that transport height and shift the tra tractor to shift the against mo movement with its transmission, the neutral safety lock lever on, the brake lock lever engaged, shut down the engine, move the blade control to the flow, install shackle to lift on, the, on each side of the blade, um, shove the, at, at, attach the shackle on each of the end of the blade. Warning, all personnel must stand clear of the bulldozer blade if being lifted failure do so could result in injury death with the event of lifting dice and spills the lips and fail slips and falls attached may suitable lifting device lifting crane winch etc of shackles raised bay blade sufficient height to allow the blade clear ramp of the tra and trailer but even the tra and transport tractor move the blade control lever to the hold all right. Um, tractor ev ev evacuation recovery continued. Raise ripper to the transfer type. The system of the unit is required to ensure that the tractor is raised uh, secure against the um, movement of the transmission and neutral and safety lock lever on. Brake lever control engaged. Shut down the engine. Move the move ripper control over the float. Move the cover pin rear tanner pin with the air ripper shank of the rear, rear, rear ripper beam. Warning: All personnel must clear the whipper ripper with it being lifted. Failure to do so could result in injury or death of the lifting of the devices. Um, slip and falls. Use any, use any suitable lifting device. Lift the truck crane winch or um, to raise the uh, beam the sufficient height of allow the shank to be removed the ripper control lever to hold remove the ripper shank to clear of the clear of the beam reinstall each ripper shank of the um, beam in inverted position when the pin is retainer cut <coughs> pin All right, operating in a stream cold tractors operating with the order condition the clip of the winter as cab through um, refer to field manual nine two oh seven operating of the maintenance materials in cold weather field manual thirty one seventy basic cold weather um, cold weather uh, manual field manual thirty one seventy one northern operation additional information for the cold and weather operation maintenance introduction of stream cold uh, causes uh, causes many problems lubricant thicken with the congel um, maybe debtors free even lost their electrical efficiency fuel may um, may be readily atomized with combustion various materials become hard and brittle easily damaged cooling system require the Adequate protection with extreme cold fuel lubricant ANCs requires special storage and handling use. Operation continued. Lift low idling speed during extreme cold temperature can result in the complete incomplete combustion. Heavy of the deposit of the formation of the valve. The deposits can be burned. Valve with the premium bent and push rods or other damaged valve components. Carefully follow the engine startup warning procedure in work package 5. The, uh, allow the engine to thoroughly warm up and the idle so smoothly. However, do not allow the idle, idle ex excessively to speed through the too low. The running engine reduce the speed low enough to circulate all the engine increase the speed to avoid water and condensation. Fuel tank complete the fuel tank fill fill, fill 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 tank after the operating period to drain the water from the fuel tank. Remove snow and ice mud from the engine compartment. The hydraulic cylinder track components implements before operation. Ensure the tractor implements are clean for the parking brake park of the sheltered area on the over the wind. In. Place the track implements and blanking, planking to keep them from freezing on the ground. If the, she um, the shelter is not available to put the track and park the tractor and does not face in the wind, cover the machine is available to protect the engine from the accessory control of the ice and cut snow. Caution, do not attempt to break the tracks loose from the engine power. Do not move the track um, tractor when the large frozen lumps of the material in the tracks fail to follow the caution may cause damage to the equipment. The track freezes to the ground, notify the units of maintenance. Uh, operation in extreme heat. Limit idling. Uh, limit engine idling under no condition should the, uh, the idling time exceed 10 minutes. Excessive the idling can cause the carbon buildup damage to the engine. Do not refer to field manual 993 desert operation. During very hot weather, we avoid continuous long, long hard as push and pulls. Although the, the engine to idle becomes the overheat of the engine does not sufficient to maximize 10 minutes of idling. Shut down and notify the unit maintenance. If the water temperature goes in, it gets in the gauge. Indicate the red zone engine cool and temperature warning light comes on. Allow the engine cool down. Three to five minutes idle with note the unifier notify the unit maintenance engine does not cool down. Check the cooling system and air cleaner with the indicator with the engine oil level. They frequently ensure the radiator is free of the debris of the floor material perform the necessary service the notifying unit maintenance and unusual gauge readings and problems. Check and lubricate the tractor with the frequently with the preventive maintenance check service the part the tractor under cover there if possible. No. Um, open and uh, operating in deep mud and salt water to ensure that the salt residue that has been removed. The rock guards and belly pans must be removed on all surrounding areas. So thoroughly flush with fresh water. Clean tra tractor with fresh water if available. Notify unit maintenance manner. 
All right, operating in sandy dust conditions. Note the refer to the field manual 93 on Desert Storm. Check the engine coolant. Desert, sorry, Desert Operation. Check the engine coolant temperature with the engine oil pressure frequently. Radiator, radiator cable core free of the operator's hooks and air circulation. Keep the engine pre air pre cleaner. Free of debris. Maintain the air cleaning field with as clean as possible. Notify the unit maintenance surveyor and service the air cleaning with if the service is indicated with the red engine and if the engine ensure the engine and transmission oil dipsticks are clean before dipsticks are removed. And check the fluid levels clean. The accumulation of sand and dirt from the around. Um, Fluid fluid filler location before checking the air, adding fluids, clean the spots and fuel containers of areas, fill filters, fuel tank before adding fuel. Under extremely sandy, dusty condition, filter fuel from the filling tank never use when not used ever can cover the engine and operators starting to prevent wind blown sand operations. Alright, operating in high altitude. The engine is operated with al altitude higher than the marked on the warning plate. The dash and damage equipment may result in the turbocharger overspeed. In high altitude concern with not an issue. The surface life extension program machines due to the new engines installed in these machines. One, the fuel rack high engines um, idle speed um, settings for the maximum turbocharger have been adjusted and permanent engine operating with the to altitude marking on the mar warning dash plate. Equipment can be operated at low altitude without changing the adjusting, but within the maximum performance. Forwarding. Test the depth of the water. Ensure the firmness is consistent with the bottom. Do not attempt to forward the depth of the 30 inches to the top of the final drive will cover it. Ensure all the gauges indicate with the normal operation pressure and temperature. Shift the transmission to first gear. Increase the engine speed to minimize the stalling. Enter the water slowly to reduce the backwash for the engine completely. Um, forward speed, um, forwarding speed should not exceed 3 to 4 miles an hour. After the forwarding, the tractor and the fresh water is available. Perform the operator preventive maintenance check service in work package 11 and 12. Notify the unit maintenance end of work package. All right, your storage decay and decal and data plate. This work package shows the location storage equipment and materials should equipment required with the DS7, D7F tractor. The work package also includes showing the location of the decal, decal, um, D data plates on the machine. The, uh, this may in instance the data plate from the machine located within the indicator of the work package storage. The items listed in table one below are issue of work package seven being contained in components of an end item basic item issues. One is, item one is the year case maintenance operational manual. Two, Extinguish fire, three key and socket head screw, four lubricating gun and hand, five wrench adjustable. Quantity one um, for inside operator stand between bound and bracket inside or operation station and inside the toolbox. Our right, shows your decal and then another de your decal for your battery. A serial number, tractor with wench, tractor with ripper. Manual override, automatic start, disconnect switch, warning and warning. Um, Data plates continue lubrication and the self serving cleaning service instruction. Data plates continue transportation fully. Um, more data plates. Data plates including for your starting switches and your gauges. Circuit breaker, reverse polarity, push button reset. Warnings and a package warning package. Chapter 3, Operator Troubleshooting.